what's going on guys first of all sorry for the inconsistent content i'm gonna plan on doing more in 2019 however for now let's break down mike mccollum the body snatcher himself uh let's get right into it let's first take your time to appreciate the ability of mccollum to read and react at the heat of the moment Here's in a read James Tony jabbing with him or jabbing after him. And then he's gonna react by throwing high and then getting out of the center line to throw a jab to the body. Um, let's play the read first here. You see Tony jabbing with him there. Another one just for uh, reference. And then here's another clip of him jabbing with him just so that you know that. Tony didn't just do this once, all right? He did this more than twice in the entire fight. Here's an, uh, you know, um, jab after him. In this case, he's gonna jab after McCallum throws his jab. He's gonna try to counter that right there. Now, McCallum's gonna react to this by throwing high, like I said, and then getting out of the center line. He throw a jab to the body, throwing low, um, inadvertently slipping that jab by James Tony. Here it is right here. Throws a jab, baits a jab from Tony, and Dan uh, slips to throw that jab to the body. Here's another one right here. The count throws a double jab, baiting a jab from Tony, and then he goes low, throwing a jab to the body, countering that jab by Tony. All right, read and react number two. Here we're... Uh, McCallum will read Tony, leaving himself off of balance with the right hand, and then he's gonna react by bending at the waist, using the right uppercut to the body. See this one? There he made an attempt to counter already, but it was too close, so it was counted as a low blow. Now after reading that, he's gonna react, like I said, by countering with the right uppercut to the body which he did 10 seconds later. You see this? Tony throws the right hand. He bends at the waist, throws the right uppercut to the solar plexus. Here's another one. Throws a left hook, then a right hand. Look at his balance right there. He's off balance and then McCallum counters with a right uppercut to the body. Trying to follow that up with a right hand, but it didn't land. Now let's talk about McCallum's uh, sharp counter punching skills. His ability to, you know, counter from all types of different angles, combining it with great upper body movement, and then, you know, countering after that, is just a great skill that he has. You know, very few fighters has this skill. And we're gonna take a look at a couple of clips to further understand how he does it so well. Starting off with this, Donald Curry will throw a jab. He commits to that jab, and then McCallum, knowing that a right hand will come, ducks under that jab, and in here, he's gonna throw a right uppercut to the body. Here's another scenario. Curry will throw a hook, then again, being defensively responsible, McCallum will duck under that right hand, seeing that coming already before he comes predicting that right hand. Ducks under that, throws another right uppercut to the body. One of the reasons why he's called the body snatcher is because he can throw body shots at all types of different scenarios, you know, whether that might be counter punching or, you know, setting up his own body shots. He knows how to do it on both ends, defense and offense. Now in this case, he's gonna use a counter punch using his upper body movement and then he's gonna throw a left hook ending the fight against Donald Curry. Donald will throw a jab here. And then McCallum will bend out the waist expecting a right hand. But this time, uh, Curry decided to throw a left hook after the jab because he, he thought that he's gonna catch McCallum off guard. But McCallum uses his upper body movement to his advantage as Curry throws a left hook. He gets caught a little bit in there. I'm not gonna deny that. But then he's gonna come back with a left hook of his own, knocking out Donald Curry, ending the fight, defending his title as well. We can't talk about Mike McCallum without talking about his body punching. 
you know, that's where his moniker came from, Body Snatcher, because he doesn't necessarily have one punch knockout power. He can knock out a guy like that, but he doesn't have one punch knockout power, like I said. Um, you know, one element I think that is very important when it comes to body punching is distance awareness. Knowing um, if you're in the right distance to throw a left hook to the body because a lot of guys they throw left hooks to the body from a long distance and that highly affects the power of the punch. A lot of fighters tend to throw uh, jabs to the body from from too close. That's why they don't get a lot of power in it. And a lot of guys they throw right uppercuts to the body. They try to throw left uppercuts to the body, but they're too far away. And so, like I said, the power gets highly affected when you do that. But McCallum has great distance awareness. Like he knows how to measure the distance, and he knows if it's in the right distance to throw the body shot. So here, we're gonna see him throw the jab. All right, let's play it in slow motion. We're gonna see him throw the jab. And as he throws a jab, he sees that he goes well over um, Donald Curry's face. And this is a big sign that he can throw the right uppercut to the body and he's in the right distance. Throws that right uppercut to the body. Here's another scenario. He's gonna throw that jab. And as he throws that jab, he has very long arms and that went well over Donald Curry's face. And then that's a sign again as he's in the right distance for the right uppercut to the body. That was that right uppercut to the body. And then throws a check hook afterwards while sliding back. Well, let's talk about his infamous check hook. A lot of people will say, hey, Mayweather is the one who came up with the check hook. Guys, McCallum came first and he uses check hook a lot less than Mayweather, but he has an amazing check hook. Now, a lot of people ask me, hey, what's the difference between a left hook and a check hook? And it's simple. In check hook, you don't put a lot of power in it. It's just a way to stop their opponent on their tracks. If your opponent is, you know, throwing a flurry or something, you can use a check hook to your advantage and uh, keep them on a defense. Here's a clip. He's gonna throw a jab. Curry will counter with the right hand and he throws that check hook. Here's gonna throw a jab. He's gonna miss with that jab. And being very responsible with his mistakes, he throws a almost like a slap, you know. He throws that check hook, stopping Donald Curry from countering and setting up his combos. Misses with the jab, gets a quick chair hook in to stop Donald Curry in his tracks. All right, guys, that was my quick breakdown of Mike McCollum. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be starting to upload more videos this year. And uh, I've been a lot busy in 2018. Hopefully, I can do this more consistently because I enjoy studying films and I enjoy studying boxers from the past from the future from today whatever man so subscribe to my channel and uh, that was it peace